Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to teach you how to create a looping retro grid animation in Adobe After Effects. I already taught you guys how to do this in Photoshop, so if you guys want to check that out, make sure to check out the link in the description. With that being said, let's get straight into this video. Now we're going to make two solid layers. One's going to be the background layer and one's going to be the grid. So we're going to right click, press new, solid. Both of them are going to be black in this instance. Um, so solid again. So the top um, layer over here is going to be the grid. We want to go to the effects and preset panel and we want to search up grid. Now we want to change the color of the grid. Uh, I'm going to select a pink uh, just because I think that looks the best, but you guys can stick with whatever. Now we want to actually make the grid 3D. We want to change its perspective. Right now it's flat. We want to sort of make it so that it's a 3D type of layer. So what we're going to do is we're going to press on the solid layer. We're going to go to layer, 3D layer. And now um, if we go over here to transform, there is the X, Y, and Z rotation uh, options. Before we clicked on 3D um, layer, that wasn't there. So you can see the settings change. So all we want to do is go to X rotation and change this value right here, the second one. Um, so I'm going to choose like 95, uh, maybe 100. I think 95 might be better. Now you can see it's a little bit weird because um, it doesn't cover the entire uh, video. So you can just actually drag up and see what that does. And we're just going to fill the entire screen or half the screen. So right now you can see it doesn't really move. So that's sort of what I showed you guys in Photoshop. I showed you guys how to make this, uh, but now we're going to show you guys how to move it. You want to search up uh, motion tile over here in the effects uh, panel. You just want to drag it on top of this grid. And now you guys have new settings. And basically you just want to change the tile center. And so we're going to set a keyframe at the starting point and at the ending point. So if you go over to effects, motion tile, you want to set a keyframe for the point it's at right now. So let's just say we start right here and we want to end at one minute, right? We just want to change the second value. So you can see it increases. So now if we play it, you can see what that does. I think it's a little bit too slow. So if it's a little bit too slow, you can just increase this value even more. So that's how you create a moving retro grid in Adobe After Effects. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.